Hey guys, EBP Man here. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new electric bike that we've been testing on the channel. Now this is a little bit different. While we've been testing some really large format bikes, this one is a dirt bike. Uh, at least that's how they're referring to it. Uh, and this is from High Boy, and this is the P6 26 inch. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now this is a large, tough looking bike and it's gonna support a wide range of riders, anywhere from 5'4 all the way up to 6'6. And it's also gonna support some decent weight, all the way up to 265 pounds. Now this bike is powered by a 750 watt brushless motor, right? So you're gonna have a lot of power. With that power, two things come in, speed and distance. 21.7 miles per hour and you're gonna get a range of 31 miles. That's pure electric. That's you just sitting back and cruising. Now. I know a lot of you want to be able to pedal. We all do, right? So if you happen to pedal, and I encourage you to do, check this out, 62 miles. <laughs> Crazy, 62 mile range. Imagine how far you're gonna be able to get with this bike. Now, you do have a display that's gonna tell you your time, your speed, you know, battery level, it's all, all this information, and it's very, very bright. It's uh, very readable in direct sunlight and also at night as well. Now, this is a cadence sensing bike, which means that as you're pedaling, it's gonna provide some assistance to give you kind of uh, what I call the superpowers of biking, right? Um, you do have a throttle that you're gonna be able to engage to be able to get things going. Now, to give you the best possible ride, and especially because, again, this is kind of like going after the um, that all-terrain type bike, uh, it basically has a hydraulic fork in the front. So that means that you can adjust it and you're gonna have a super smooth ride. Now, that hydraulic fork also has some settings that you can adjust to basically, um, I'd say, determine what you want that suspension to be like. It is also IPX5 rated, and this is the first nine speed that we review on the channel, because we've been reviewing seven speeds and eight speed uh, Shimano type systems, but this is a nine speed bike. Now, this bike is supported by 26 inch, four, inch fat tires that are also puncture resistant. So this is gonna be something that is gonna be grippy, it's gonna work in sand, it's gonna work in snow, Chicago, we have snow, and it's gonna work in mud. Now the one thing I will say about this bike, and this is one of the things that you know was kind of like surprise and also a little disappointment, is that it doesn't have mud guards. No fenders, but it, again, it's a dirt bike. It's a mountain bike. It's supposed to be ridden and it's supposed to be messy. So if you do get into water, if you do get into mud, uh, you're gonna get some on you for sure. So let's take a closer look. Now the High Boy P6 has 26 inch, uh, four inch wide fat tires. They're gonna work in a variety of terrains. Uh, not only is this gonna be a great commuter bike, but this is gonna work well in sand. It's gonna work well in snow. And obviously it's gonna do a fantastic job when it comes to mud. It does have some very thick treads that you're gonna see in a couple seconds that are gonna give you great traction and they're gonna prevent any kind of skidding. Now, this unit does come with a nine speed. This is a nine speed Shimano uh, gear system, uh, which is a little bit different because most of the bikes that we've been reviewing today either have a seven, eight, so this one has a nine. Now, the motor itself is a 750 watt motor, like we mentioned, and it is also has a 48 volt removable lithium battery. So you're gonna have some great uh, traction. You're also gonna have some great speed. And we'll talk about that again. So what you're looking at here is a pure electric distance with this motor and the battery type, anywhere from 24 to 31 miles. And again, this is gonna be based on your weight. Now, if you are pedaling, right, and you're pedaling and using the bike, you're gonna be looking at a 49 to 62 miles. So you're gonna get a lot of range with this bike. Now the pedals themselves are well built. They have some nice grip texture here. You do have reflectors, which is gonna be great for nighttime. And uh, I found that it's very responsive. I do also like the color treatment so that you do have black with the actual kind of like chrome um, and it also does well with the chain system. I really like when everything fits like it's part of a single design. Now, one thing to highlight, you know, we did talk about that this has some great treads here, but you'll notice one thing that is missing. This is a mountain bike and there are no fenders. There's no mud guards. Uh, so that's one thing to be mindful of. I don't know if um, High Boy is gonna have some uh, fenders that you can add to it, but it has no mud guard protection. So just be aware of that if you uh, tend to go into you know, either a water terrain, a mud terrain, or even if you're going uh, through snow, you're gonna have something that's gonna get lifted up. Uh, I like the fact that the seat adjustment itself is toolless. You don't need tools. All you do is open this up here and you're able to adjust the seat up and down. And you also have these markings here on the side. Now, the cool thing about these uh, measurement points is that it allows you to really have a sense of if you have a home where you're sharing this bike and 
you find that this is moved often, you know exactly where you want to put it based on your height. So I like the fact that, again, this is something that doesn't require any tools and that you have here all your adjustments easily available. Now, despite the saddle not having any suspension, it is very comfortable. And you can see how as I'm pushing down right here that as you sit on it, it's going to mold itself to you. And that's going to give you a comfortable ride. That combined with the actual tires, uh, you need to have a very comfortable ride despite the fact that it's not having any kind of suspension on the back. Now, focusing on the front fork, the front fork is a hydraulic system. Now, you do have disc brake systems in the front and the back, but the brake system is not hydraulic, but the fork is. And the cool thing about the fork is that the fork has an adjustment knob that allows you to adjust uh, the type of ride that you'd like to have. So this is going to give you a really, really comfortable ride because of the adjustment and the fact that it's a hydraulic system. Now to adjust the hydraulics in the front fork, all you have to do is turn this dial to the appropriate area that you'd like to adjust it to. Now access to all of the controls, the brake controls, the lighting system, the actual pedal system modes are really easy to to reach on the bike. Everything is within thumb distance. You can see as I press or, or place my palm in this area here, um, everything I can reach uh, with, within this area just by moving it forward or back. Now, one thing I will mention is that uh, some of the other bikes that we've reviewed have like a palm rest, right? Where you can rest your palm as you're holding onto it. This bike does. This is truly more of less a cruiser and more, I would say, of a all-terrain mountain bike, hence it doesn't have really the palm rest that you see with some of the other bikes that we reviewed. Uh, the brake system is here and it's very responsive. And then as I mentioned, you do have all the controls that you need right here uh, to you know, just actuate uh, whatever you'd like on the bike. Now, uh, let's go ahead and power this up. Now, one of the things I'll just highlight is that this display is super bright. It's so bright that I had to really tone down my camera because it was just blinding the camera sensors themselves. So you can see right here, uh, very, very bright and uh, highly, highly legible. Now, powering on the light is pretty simple. All you do is press the button and the lights will turn on. Press it off and it turns off. You can see it over here on the side. We'll take a look at that headlamp in a second. You also have a built-in horn. It's loud. I really like that it's loud. I, I review a lot of bikes and sometimes you have a very robust bike that has like a little bell. This is, a, this, is, th this is exactly the kind of horn I would expect with this kind of bike. It's loud. Now on the opposite side of the handlebar, you do have your gear system. And just like we talked about on the electrical side, where you're controlling um, everything that has to do with the actual pedal assist modes, right? And your horn or your light, uh, what you have on this side is your manual gear system, right? So in addition to that, you do have uh, your throttle and it's an integrated throttle. So here's the throttle right here. So as you're riding, you just turn this and then it's going to enable that pedal assist. Now, the one thing I will highlight is that um, notice how nicely integrated it is. Now, there's two things to this. First of all, it's great that it's integrated and it's seamless. It feels like one piece. The bad thing about it is, or the thing that you need to be worried about is when you're holding on, make sure that you're holding on in the right area, right? Because you could inadvertently throttle this if you uh, don't intend to. So be mindful of that when you hold it. You know, I tend to hold it in a corner, more towards the corner, and then you would be able to twist if you need to. If you're holding it right here, just be mindful of the fact that you are going to be able to uh, turn that throttle. Now, you'll notice here you have the gear system, really easy to access. So I have my hand positioned there nicely, and I can press this, or I can press it over here to either move up a gear or down a gear. So everything is literally, I put my fingers right here, very, very accessible. And then what you have right here is uh, your brake system as well. Now, cable management has also been nicely improved uh, with this bike. I really like how everything is kind of like connected here, brought in, and then it gets tucked away. So as soon as you have enough uh, here power for your light, I'll turn that on again so you can see how bright that is. You then basically have everything goes in and it gets hidden in one point or the other. So here you have your brake cable going in and then this stuff just goes in and just disappears inside of the frame in the back here and then comes out of the other side. So love that design, love how, you know, how hidden it is. And then you can see even right here you have, uh, they're kind of like their logo, but it's nice and discreet. It looks really, really classy. Uh, removing the battery is a snap. As long as you have the keys in place, you turn it, and then the, the actual battery just lifts, and you'll see how it's coming out just like this. And the beauty of this is that you can take this with you, uh, put it inside of the house um, if you have to leave the bike out, or if you're commuting to or from work, uh, you can actually, again, take this off of the bike so that it renders the bike you know, not that attractive because, again, this is the power, right? And you'll notice how everything connects right here, and you'll notice right here on the side is where you have like your little plug. And then you also have a battery meter here that's gonna tell you, you know, what's going on from a battery perspective. 
Now, the last thing we'll highlight is the braking system. We did talk about these, uh, that you have a front and back uh, disc-based system. This is not a hydraulic system. It is cable-based, but it works extremely well. All right, guys, so let's talk about the experience of riding this mountain bike. I have to tell you that as soon as I got on and I started pedaling, all I could say is, wow. And let me tell you what the wow is about. First of all, the actual handlebar is one of the widest handlebars on a bike that we've reviewed to date. And it, be, it just feels gargantuan in size. Now, that combined with the fat tires, and we've been riding a lot of fat tire bikes for quite some time now, but maybe it's because it doesn't have mud guards or you know, any kind of fenders that it just makes it look massive, massive, massive as I keep on looking at this bike. So I'm riding right now uh, in ninth gear. And let's see, am I? Let's go one more. Yeah, there's ninth. So I was in eighth gear a couple seconds ago, and I would say ninth, maybe a little bit too much to go down one. Eight, all right, I like eight. So this is our eighth gear, and it just feels really good. Yeah. Uh, overall, that front suspension, the tires, the fat tires are gonna be great for all terrains. We're gonna go electric for a little bit you're going to be able to really uh, enjoy sand, snow, mud. This is a mountain bike, all-terrain bike. Front fork, suspension, very, very nice. Fat tires combination, very, very nice as well. Steering column, very wide, or the actual handlebar, rather, very wide. I like that as well. Almost, you know, you almost want to go down, like if you were riding a motorcycle, because it's so wide on the sides. I really like that. Uh, the actual display is small, as I can see right here, but it is actually very clear, very easy to read. You do have, everything is within finger reach, even though the actual handlebar ends are pretty wide from each other, it's still very accessible, so I really like that. Now, from a speed perspective, uh, you know, I'm right now, I think I'm gear one. I'm going to go ahead and, and up a gear in a couple minutes, and then we'll see how fast this bike can go. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn here. Now, the bike does have five passing gear uh, or passive assist modes, right, that you can go up to. And right now, I'm in the fifth gear, and it's giving me a lot of assistance, I'm telling you. So, uh, even at the highest gear, and we're going to go one gear higher, so that's nine. Um, I'm flying. I'm not really putting a lot of effort. I'm actually going to go slow down a little bit because we're going to get to the corner here. The actual display, I keep on looking at it. It's small, but boy, is it, is it popping. It's easy, easy to read. All right, so let's try this again. So we're going to go ahead and speed up here, and we're going to see how much assistance it gives me, and we'll see uh, what our GPS tells us from a speed perspective. All right, so... You can see I'm not winded at all, and this thing is clocking. All right, nice. Let's go ahead and go 100% electric. All right, so now, not pedaling, but just letting the bike do its thing, and it's doing really, really nice. So overall, I can't say more about the actual ride experience. It's a great ride experience. The actual human to electric uh, kind of uh, combination. Very, very nice. Uh, it, it's not jerky. So as I am right now using kind of like the pedal assist right here, I had to work a little bit right there. I had to push a little bit and now it's just like taking over for me. So it's not like all of a sudden when you start pedaling that your feet just, you know, almost fly away. So I like that. That's, that's nice. So very, very, I would say tuned passive assist mode when it comes to that, or actually pedal assist mode as it uh, gets in. Uh, so right now we're going 100% electric uh, at that top speed. And I'm gonna switch the gears in a little bit just to see you know, what difference we get. But this is you know, just a bike doing its thing. And what I'll say is that the bike is ultra, ultra quiet, super duper quiet. You really don't hear anything uh, outside of like bike noises, right? So you hear that little, clickety click that you hear when you have bikes like especially when you pedal backwards which is kind of like I don't know kind of soothing to me and if you're a bike rider 
It's just uh, so reassuring to hear that. The saddle, so let's talk about the saddle a little bit. A uh, comfortable saddle does not have suspension. What I will say, and this is, this is what I'm observing, or at least this is what my, my rear is telling me, is that it seems to be wider than most saddles that we've ridden on, because I can feel that it's kind of like a little bit further apart. <laughs> that makes any sense. So, oh, all in all, it's a comfortable saddle, right? Very comfortable saddle. Now, uh, let's go ahead and see uh, how fast we could go 100% electric now. All right. All right, so what we're going to try to do now is go 100% electric. So I'm going to go ahead and give the throttle, full throttle. And what I'll say is that it's not a jumpy bike. It's not going to be a bike that's going to lift you out of your seat. And I can feel really gradual increase in speed. It's actually very enjoyable. It's, it's uh, Maybe I would put it almost like in the tame category, so it's not going to all of a sudden rock it away where you feel the bike is just gonna get away from you i actually like this so you know this is definitely gonna is a nice bike i often talk about some of the things that uh, nova likes in a bike as well where she prefers bikes where they're not scary because they're so fast when they pull off and this one has a really nice acceleration to it that shouldn't freak anybody out but you know it's good to know that it's there when you need it you feel it when you're pedaling, but it's not going to scare you as it's pulling off. So that's nice. Now, the bike does have a horn. I love that it has one. It doesn't have a little dinky bell. Um, I would have liked for it to be more honking. I think that that's a little uncharacteristic for the impressive uh, type of bike that this is, because I'm telling you, this, this bike is gorgeous. It's just... Like when you think about the overall aesthetics, I just love the way it looks, especially with that tough mountain bike look. All right, so we are coming up with uh, our trusty speed cam and to see what uh, it's going to tell us as it compares to this bike. So I'm at full throttle and I can actually feel that there's almost like a limiter to the, to the, to the bike because as it goes maybe a little bit open, it says it's 20, right? So we're hitting 20 on the bike, 100% electric. It kind of gra it kind of like slows down a little bit. I can feel it kind of just trying to do the right thing to keep me safe, which is nice. So we're going to go through this nature path just to see how how well the suspension is doing for us. And I'm telling you, that was that was soft. So not having a, a rear suspension sometimes you know makes me pause. Uh, but this one, that front fork, fat tires, feels good. Feels really good. And then also with this really wide steering, oh my God, it just feels, it just, I don't know, just really nice. I, I, I want to lean into things. As you can see me leaning on the side here slightly, it's just like, I just want to, woo, just go back and forth in this thing. It just makes you want to go faster and uh, maybe be a little bit more daring when it comes to the bike. Yeah, this is nice. So. This is like my little bumpy road test just to see uh, how things feel. And the bike is doing really, really nice. And again, I'm not pedaling at all. So this is 100% electric. Uh, just to see uh, how well it's doing. And I'm digging it. Yeah, so I'm telling you, just because of the, I don't know if it's the style or just what it is, but I just want to lean into these curves as I'm going through. I'm glad I didn't do that again, because that was fun. Woo! Yes. Yeah. So, again, what is my opinion? Are there any cons to this bike at this point? Uh, the only con I would say that I find about this bike at this time is going to be the fact that it doesn't have mud guards. I wish they had optional mud guards. And maybe they'll add that to this. But the optional mud guards, that's what I'm looking at right now because I'm going over some mud. Uh, I wish it had that. Outside of that, great suspension, great ride, great performance. Uh, love, love, love this bike. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.